was all the washi tape we ordered last month for our Lunar New Year as well as for the March subscription and a upcoming bundle for March called BQ. I do have to count the stock for these and then distribute the ones we sold to our wholesalers in Australia and then I have to put everything away. came out pretty nicely. I was a little bit worried because our manufacturer warned us that the lines between might be a little bit too close together. I think it turned out pretty well. So I just finished distributing all our stock to our wholesalers. I have to organize all of this remaining inventory. I think I have about like 18 designs here. I'm gonna try to fit most of this in the bins and it's already nighttime, so kind of tired. But I have to finish this up so I could clear the table. January 16th today and I'm super excited because we got our new washi tapes delivered last night. I just spent the last couple hours unpacking them since the factories are going on their lunar new year break. Our manufacturer actually recommended us to order everything ahead of time up until March. So I basically put in a giant order. I have the Lunar New Year washi tapes which has 13 new designs and then I also have our March subscription washi tapes as well as a small bundle that I'm doing in March called BQ which is actually a revamp of this B theme we did about two years ago it's been long enough probably that people forgot that we had it so now I'm going to do my bookkeeping for the new washi tapes. This is something I actually started doing at the end of last year. It's gotten to a point where I have so much washi tape designs that I don't even remember what we have done. Basically, I have all the washi tape we ever made taped out along with their SKU number, which is basically identification number. So it's easier for logging and inventory checking. The way I did it last year, it was actually kind of stupid because I thought I would make my life easy by separating out the subscription washi tapes and the non-subscription washi tape we have but it got really confusing because I will lose track of the identification number I was on so I believe I stopped on 181 which ended with our December subscription I'm gonna move on with our new Lunar New Year washi tapes and our new subscription washi tapes in this brand new notebook.
my goal for this year is actually improve our packaging. I feel like in the last two years, I haven't been focusing too much on packaging of my merchandise because there was an instance when I first started out the shop, I focused more effort into packaging and I would watch these haul videos that people had of their purchases and they would rip through the packaging without really commenting on it and that kind of made me rethink about my efforts because I thought, oh, I spent so much time you know, designing the packaging and thinking of a way to present my merchandise and people didn't really think too much about it and just kind of tossed it aside. That's kind of when I stopped putting too much effort into some of the packaging that I do. But I feel like time kind of has changed because there's so many small businesses out there now and one thing that kind of sets you aside is sometimes the packaging. So one of my goal for this year is try to improve on our packaging. And I don't know if it makes sense, at least right now, because I have to figure out the cost. Because every time you change your materials, cost plays a big factor into whether you can do it or not. And for instance, like right now, these plastic wraps on these washi tapes are only about maybe like 10 cents added to the overall cost but if i were to change it to something more reusable like the plastic boxes the cost might go up to like 50 cents so like i don't know if that makes sense to do because that might raise the price of the washi tape on our website I'm actually very happy about the way that these washi tape turn out. I think our manufacturer fixed the colors a little bit for me because when you submit the files, you're supposed to do it in CYMK and that usually dulls the color. I think they upped the vibrant on this. The red is super vibrant and the gold foiling on this washi tape looks super nice. I'm very excited about this collection because I think it might be popular because we've never done a Lunar New Year bundle before. So this will be our first. So I did put a lot of effort into the items we're putting into this bundle and I'm really hoping you guys all like it. Here we have the dog one and there's actually five different poses. This is actually Mimi because she is the year of the dog. And then we have Nono here as the dragon. This one is actually my favorite. This is the snake zodiac. And you have each of the misfits. They're on the little uh, buckets. And they're just sitting in there. And it's super cute. I remember when I was submitting the design, they told me that the characters might have an issue because um, some of the lines are really, really close. It actually looks fine to me. I added this 13th design to our Lunar New Year collection. I think this might be very popular. like to print out a pick list of all the items that I need to print and grab for a set of orders. I don't know, I think I stapled way too much. So my pick list kind of look like this. It tells me the SKU number and it tells me what item it is and how many is required. For this batch of orders, I need to grab 350 items. So how I start is usually I grab all the inventory I have in stock already. So whatever is left, I will have to print and cut. 
I know that's a little bit more work than already having the items stock but I ran into issues before where I print way too much stickers and I have so much left over in my inventory so now I usually just go by my pick list and then print whatever I'm missing sometimes can be a lot of items um, since as you can see like this whole section I don't really keep it in stock these are my newer stickers so I have more of it in stock but I am trying to destock a lot of our old designs like the pop culture ones so I'm just trying to get rid of whatever we have left inventories are spread out so I have a bunch of stuff here in this section I have more of our sticker kits this is for our subscription as well as bundles and then I have this unit of all the current washi tapes we have in our inventory and then this section is left for subscription items in the office there's more over here and then the stickers are over here as well as over here so when I'm doing all this pick list, I have to actually move around a lot to grab everything. But this is the only way that I can find space for all my merchandise. Hopefully one day everything will be consolidated into one place. have most of our current inventory items picked out I have to go through the list and basically print out everything that I don't have that usually takes a really long time for me because I have the program set up here but my machines are all the way here and the USB cords are not long enough so I actually have my second laptop set up here after I have the file set up and print it I basically bring it into this laptop so that the machines can cut the stickers
currently this is the only kit that we carry in our shop where I have to hand foil it. I hate the process because it's really really hard to get the black print directly onto the color part. As you can see here, it's a little bit off but it's actually not bad. But I do put in the listing that these ones are hand foiled, hence it won't be perfect in case anyone comes back. which. There's been cases where they came back because they were like, oh, there's little specs. Yeah, it's just nice to put a little disclaimer in your listing, especially for items that you know is prone to a bit of error. One of the things when you hand foil stickers is that depending on the type of paper, sticker paper you use, it will curl because of the heat. Afterwards, it's better if you put something heavy on it, but even then, like it will still curl. It doesn't really affect the overall functionality of it, but that is something to keep in mind when you hand foil stickers. So I just noticed that I accidentally put in the paper the wrong way. So all of this is printed on the wrong side. They're not even sticky at all. I'll have to toss this and reprint everything. So I just reprinted everything and they look pretty good. So now I'm gonna have to start packing. I was able to finish the design for our new card for the Lunar New Year bundle. Originally, I had it upright, but I couldn't fit all the characters, so I redid it and made it horizontal. This part is, it will fold right here, and then when you open it up, this is what you'll see. I really like this part. It basically talks about our three main characters, Lil, Nono, and Mimi. If you guys didn't know, Lil is the year of the dragon. Whereas Nono is the year of the sheep 
and Mimi is the year of the dog. I won't go into too much details here because if you order this bundle, you will get this card where you could kind of read about each of the characters, uh, their personalities and characteristics. But I do have to submit this soon. And as for our actual Lunar New Year bundle, I haven't decided when we're releasing that. Um, probably at the beginning of February. If you follow us on Instagram or you're in our Facebook group, we will have all that information up uh, once we've decided a date. Alright, one last thing is that at the end of this month, I might close the shop for a day uh, to redo our inventory because there's some items that are currently out of stock on our website but we may have some extra left but i have to count them uh, mostly be washi towers but that's all for now so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye